This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Okay, note that the sun has gone down. It's uh, below the horizon. You're looking at the second cast of the trip. Yeah, I got to the beach, uh, got to the area later than I wanted to, but here we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we're getting a more extensive look at this 9-foot, 2-inch, uh, the new Dark Matter John Skinner rod. Uh, I don't know what to say. It, it's really awesome. Um, you know, I've had a lot of control over how this turned out, and I'm really proud of it. It's working great. I love it. Um, Two-piece, 70-30 split. Works like a one-piece rod, uh, but, you know, if you have transport issues, it's easy to fit in a smaller vehicle. Um, Yep, it, it's real good. All right, I've definitely seen a lot more bluefish uh, this season than in the previous two seasons. So, yeah, it's a pretty good size one. And, uh, hey, you know what? You crushed those barbs. You saw how that last bass came off, and this one also. So there's two fish uh, I was able to release without touching them. So, uh, you know, just keep a good bend in the rod if you crush the barbs, and you shouldn't lose anything because of crushed barbs. So there's nothing showing, uh, no splashes, no swirls, no birds. I know this time of year I see a lot of bird chasing. Uh, sometimes the fish are there, just not showing themselves.
So I think lip grippers are just really an essential safety tool for this kind of fishing. Certainly, so this is a BOGA 260. I don't think there's any one that's better than this. Um, you know, because now I can kind of control this fish with my hand uh, free from the hooks. Because, yeah, you know, even though the barbs are crushed, these very often they end up hitting the, the tail hook on these uh, pencils. And, yeah, he's got all three prongs there, although they're not embedded deeply. You see, it came right out. But if I have to do that by hand, there's not a lot of room to slip a hand in there without the risk of getting hit with a hook. And yeah, maybe you're going to get it right, you know, I don't know, 499 times out of 500, but then that one time where you don't get it right, uh, it's going to be a serious situation. So yeah, the, the BOGA is a great thing. And both the BOGA holder and the plier holder are from Turtle Coat Tackle. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, so that fish was blowing up all over the plug, but uh, it, it knocked it forward, and uh, that front hook caught the leader, so it fouled it up. Uh, and, you know, it's getting to the point that uh, I'll make trips where I don't throw anything but that dark matter yellow. Just I have a lot of confidence in it, and it kind of simplifies things to not have to uh, have another variable in there. I know this plug works, and, uh, yeah, I just keep using it. All right, you'll see some weed on one of the hooks. So that fish was able to basically rub that plug off. Um, so I fish 30 pound braid in this situation. Even I look at all these rocks and I think that might be underdoing it, but um, experience has shown me that it's just fine. Uh, you do need to keep a lot of pressure on the fish. If you fish a loose dragon here, forget it. They kind of just cut you off on all of those rocks. So gotta keep the pressure on.
Okay, so this is a bluefish, and I mentioned this in a recent video that if you get a you know fish on, you lose them. Just get that plug working again. I've seen this where, especially with bluefish, for whatever reason, there's a bass following behind, and so I'm gonna drop this fish and get that plug working immediately. That's the one. <laughs> That's way better than what I lost. I had a that was a bluefish that I had on. A lot of rocks in here. All right, nice fish for sure. And uh, again, on the tail hook, uh, looks like maybe I've got one point in there. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this position at yeah, one point. So uh, uh, try not to use pliers. Yeah, you know, I've got a firm hold. Yeah, gee, even though I've got that barb crushed down, uh, they have pretty tough mouths. And, you know, if you get that hook firmly planted in there, it's gonna take a little pressure to get it off. But I think this is the best all around. Just try to work it out with my hand because it's really right on the outside of the lip there we go all right hey if you like this video please hit the like button if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe